Question. How is religious devotion in the Muslim world connected to support for Sharia? One of the interesting pieces of information to emerge from the global statistics on Muslim beliefs is the profile of the devout Muslim. Just to be clear, we are not referring to a theological prescription of what devout Muslims should believe and practice. Rather, this is a description based on key survey questions of those who self-identify as religious Muslims by praying several times a day. Since the Pew survey is used to compile the statistics published by the Muslim Global Demographic Project were not conducted in North America or Western Europe, they may not reflect the experience of Muslims living in the West. In fact, some Muslims in the West may find themselves in opposition to beliefs held by their devout co-religionists in the Muslim world, especially on issues related to Sharia. So what beliefs distinguish devout Muslims from other Muslims? Six characteristics emerge from the survey. Muslims who pray several times a day are statistically more likely or much more likely than those who pray less often to say that their lives reflect the Hadith and the Sunnah to a considerable degree. Islam has only one interpretation. Sharia has only one interpretation. Sharia should be the law of their country. Sharia is the revealed word of Allah. Proselytizing is a religious duty. Let's look at some of these beliefs in more detail. Among Muslims who pray several times a day, the most devout appear to be those who say that their lives reflect the Hadith and Sunnah of Muhammad to a considerable degree. Globally, this large subgroup makes up 41%, that is 370 million Muslims in the survey population. The Quran says that Muhammad is the ultimate exemplar for humanity. Accordingly, very devout Muslims often study every aspect of his life, religious, military, and personal, in order to imitate him. As we will see shortly, this devotion to the Hadith and Sunnah of Muhammad likely has a major impact on the interpretation of Sharia. Despite divisions in the Muslim world, 67% or 736 million Muslims believe that there is only one true interpretation of Islam's teachings. Devout Muslims who pray several times a day affirm this belief in greater numbers, believing, of course, that the doctrines and practices of their sect or group are the only true interpretation of Islam. Though Muslims are evenly divided in a 50-50 split over the belief that Sharia, Islamic law, has only one interpretation, devout Muslims who pray several times a day are more likely to believe that there is only one interpretation of Sharia. A substantial majority of Muslims, 69% or 742 million, favor making Sharia the official law of their country. Muslims who pray several times a day were also more likely to affirm this belief. Sixty-four percent of Muslims, that is, 581 million, believe that Sharia is Allah's revealed law, not just a form of law developed by men and based on Allah's word. Again, this belief is held with greater enthusiasm by Muslims who pray several times a day. For this reason, devout Muslims are also more likely than other Muslims to reject the legitimacy of Western laws and government along with the rights and freedoms they protect. As a celebrated Sunni philosopher, jurist, and imam once wrote, This principle of the oneness of God altogether negates the concept of the legal and political sovereignty of human beings individually or collectively. Nothing can claim sovereignty, be it a human being, a family, a class, or a group of people, or even the human race in the world as a whole. God alone is the sovereign, and his commandments are the law of Islam. Even though 69% of Muslims want to live under Sharia, only 35 to 45% of Muslims, 352 to 463 million, 
support penalties such as amputation for theft, death for apostasy, and stoning for adultery. These comprise the so-called hudud punishments, which we discussed at length in Part 2. Since the hudud punishments are derived directly from the Quran, Hadith, and Sunnah, their primary support likely comes from those Muslims who believe their lives faithfully reflect these sacred writings, in other words, those who self-identify as devout Muslims. As we've already mentioned, members of this subgroup, which make up 41% or 367 million Muslims, are more apt to promote the traditional interpretation of Islam's primary texts, which are the basis of the hudud penalties. The last characteristic of the devout Muslim is the belief that Muslims have a religious duty to convert others to the Islamic faith. This was held by 66% or 701 million Muslims in the survey. But affirmative responses were higher, sometimes much higher, among Muslims who pray several times a day. For many devout Muslims, conversion necessitates the acceptance of every aspect of traditional Sharia as Allah's revealed law. It's not merely a conversion to private, moral, and theological beliefs or a personal relationship with God as it is in much of Western Christianity. Islam and Sharia encompass every sphere of life, from private prayer to the system of government. In view of these facts, it is highly implausible, if not naive, to suggest that devout Muslims cast off their deeply held beliefs in Sharia when they immigrate to Western countries. They embrace their principles and laws as passionately as any Western advocate for human rights. It's more likely to suppose, then, that many of them arrive in the West with a strong impulse to resist and even change their host culture. In a 2016 French poll, 29% of Muslims said they rejected the country's secular laws. We began this segment by asking how religious devotion in the Muslim world is connected to support for Sharia. A statistical profile of devout Muslims leads to the unhappy conclusion that strict devotion to the Quran, the Hadith, and the Sunnah, as traditionally interpreted, gives rise to zealous support for traditional Sharia and the severe punishments it prescribes. Views that those in the West might consider extreme are regarded as a form of religious obedience by many Muslims. And as we showed in part two, universal human rights and Western values degrade to the degree that traditional Sharia is enforced. Combine this with a strong religious impulse to proselytize non-Muslims, and it is not hard to see how Muslims immigrating to Western countries in large numbers would pose a justifiable concern. Though it might be difficult to ascertain the beliefs and practices of these immigrants, we can be reasonably certain that part of this group regards Western laws and government as an illegitimate form of authority. Thank you for watching What a Billion Muslims Believe. Please share this video series on social media if you found it useful. Click on the link below the video to read the complete report from the Muslim Global Demographic Project. Be sure to watch Through the Lens of Muhammad's Life, How the Example and Teachings of Muhammad Shape Islam Today, an educational documentary from Kinetoscope Microproductions.